Today we have a SCAR amplifier. It is marine grade and it is four channel. Let's see what it's all about. Recently in December 2022, we were notified on Facebook that US Amps is coming back. That's right, blast from the past, coming back from the dead with several models of amplifier. What does that have to do with the video today about this SCAR? Well, stay tuned and you'll find out. The SCAR RP150AB is available now, 170 bucks on Amazon. Who knows what it'll be at the time of this video. They have a marine version for the same price, so I decided to pick up the marine version. Why not? It looks cooler. Has a coating on the board, so let's uh, open up the box and see what's inside. At the time of this video, there were four different marine grade models, so that's what the manual here covers is the four different models, two mono blocks and two four channels. So you get some Allen's keys come here so we can use those to tighten down the screws. We get a 3.5 millimeter cable here for the base remote. And here is the base remote. It is metal enclosed. It just has a level for minimum and max. It doesn't have any lights or anything like that. Again, I don't like these 3.5 millimeter connections on the back because they will pull out. If you see any pro audio devices that have 3.5 millimeters, they also have screws which kind of help hold it down. Let's take the amp outside of the plastic. You can see here, very nice white finish here. Very glossy, looks good overall. Amplifier, we'll get to the length here in just a minute, but here on one end, you can see RCA inputs for channels one to four. We have gain control, high pass filter from 20 hertz to five kilohertz, low pass filter from 500 hertz down to 50 hertz. We have a crossover for high pass full or low pass band pass. Also a bass. Boost, which is 0 dB, 6 dB, or 12 dB. It does not say what the frequency is, and there's a power protect LED there, remote connection, and then channels three and four exactly the same as one and two. Not going over those again, so there you have it. It does appear you have to use all four channels for the input. On the opposite side, we have four gauge for power and ground, have the remote connection, not a whole lot going on there, and then we have the speaker connections on the right, these are the side-by-side, uh, -side. so channel one and two are at the top. We'll show that, plus and minus this way. At the bottom, we have channels three and four, the same setup. And then, if you want to bridge the amplifier, it's the left positive and the right negative. Amps like this are very flexible because you can use them in two, three, or four channel mode. And uh, nice to have a bass remote too, so you can adjust the bass side if you want to. As far as dimensions go, 19.5 for the length. That includes the RCAs as well as the speaker terminals on the other end. 6.2 inches wide, 2.4 inches for the height. As far as the ratings, 4 ohms, 4 channel, 150 by 4. 2 ohms, 250 by 4. Or bridged, 500 by 2. As you know, we're going to test this and find out. Let's fire up the good old SMD DeMore Engineering Amplifier Dino so we can perform these tests to find out what kind of power the amp puts out. If you've never seen these tests before, on the left, the RMS power output in watts. In the middle, the ohm load. The right, the voltage of the dyno as well as the amplifier. We'll also have a remote connection so we can see the efficiency. Now, there's three different tests. I'm going to talk about it a little bit here, but if you want to see an extended version of how these three tests work, make sure you check a link in the video description. Basically, certified is 1% distortion, uncertified is the clipping, and dynamic shows the dynamic power of the amplifier. First up, four ohms, four channel, rated 150 watts by four at 14.4 volts. We're using the one kilohertz tone. We're measuring two channels here. The other two channels are on four ohm resistors. We got 157 watts, 14.52. So we're just a little bit over with voltage, but it appears this amplifier is rated uh, accurately. Uncertified up to the clipping point of the amplifier. Again, one kilohertz for the test tone and get exactly the same, 157 watts at 14.52. That's not unusual. We see that often for amps. It's like whenever they hit their point of no more power, they kind of give up. Dynamically, this sends a pulse tone into the amplifier. You can see we get a little bit more here. 172, 174, but our voltage is a little high, 14.77. 
As far as efficiency, 70%. That's really good for a class AB amp. Next up, we're gonna try two ohms. Amps rated 250 by four. We're gonna test two of the channels. The other two channels are on two ohms each of resistors. 250 by four is the rating. Let's see what we get here, one kilohertz. Close, not quite there, 239 and 233 at 14.32. So we're just a little bit shy on the voltage. Uh, so we'll consider it a pass as it's right at that power. Uncertified to clipping. Let's see if we can get the 250. No, not quite. 240, 233, 14.34. What about dynamically? One kilohertz pulse tone. Can we get that 250? Yes, easily get it. See 290, 277, so around, oh, jumped up. 292, 278, so about 286 per channel. 14.67. Efficiency, 64%. Still not bad for a class AB. We usually see those around 50%. Now let's bridge the amplifier where it's rated 500 by two, but we're gonna switch it to 40 Hertz and see what we get here. Certified test first, 1% THD, and quite a bit shy, 423 and 414. We did bump the voltage up to 14.48. So we're quite a bit shy here on the two channel bridge mode. Uncertified to clipping, let's see what we get. Can we get the 500? No, 462, 455 at 14.24. Now what about dynamic? Using the pulse tone, again, this is the 40 Hertz track. And looks like we're still gonna come up shy, even with higher voltage. 476, 473, oh, jumped up. 478, 473 at 14.7. What about the efficiency at 40 Hertz? 51%, that's about more along the lines what we expect with a class AB. Now let's try one kilohertz just to see if there's any difference in the power output. There probably will be, but you won't be able to hear it in your ears. But let's see if we get any closer to that 500. And yeah, we get closer, but still not quite there. 478, 469. And let's try uncertified, see if we can get over the 500 watts. Here we go. No, 479, 472 at 14.5. What about dynamically using the one kilohertz tone? Now we get the 500 watts plus. Way beyond that, but look at our voltage. We're almost at 15. Got a little surge there. 581, 574. Efficiency is a little bit better at one kilohertz, 60% at four ohms bridged. Here are all the results. You can pause this if you want to analyze all the different tests I just showed. Basically at two ohms came up a little shy, four ohms bridged also came up a little bit shy. Now let's hook it up to the ELAC bookshelf speakers as well as the kicker quad box. Find out how this works in three channel mode. Get some sound quality and some bump all in one. Here we go. Let's try some smoke jacket blues with the SCAR four channel. try a little bass how about some space age hustle called Sinister.
overall, I didn't have any complaints with the sound quality. It sounded fine with the bookshelf speakers and gave ample bass to the quad box. So overall, pretty good. And after we did those tests, we went ahead and took off the bottom panel so we could measure the temperature. We didn't have any excessive temps here. Of course, the uh, power supply uh, transformer there is going to be pretty hot, but um, everything else looked pretty decent. So now let's take off the bottom panel and find out what's inside, chips and caps and all that fun stuff. You see there's a nice size, about four inch fan there on the bottom, maybe three inch. I have to get my measurements right. And there's the insides. You can see 2200 microfarad, 35 volt on the power supply side. And for the rails, we have 50 volt, 2200 microfarad. And then we'll just do a fly over here. You can see the module there for the crossover at the end. This is a marine model, so it does have the conformal coating on the circuit board to help keep it uh, from rusting. Earlier, I mentioned US Amps coming back. They did show one of the models, a four channel. We compared it to the SCAR, it looked almost identical. And just so you know, this is a new ownership for U.S. Amps, not the original people who started U.S. Amps. We hope to have more information coming up. We'll let you guys know when we do. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of the SCAR 150.4AB. Good stuff. Flexibility being a four-channel, two, three, or four-channel mode. The value for the price. Can't beat it. It does have an active fan to keep everything cool. High-pass and low-pass crossovers at 12 dB. Remote bass control, which is kind of weird for a four-channel AB, but we'll take it. Very flexible like that. It is a marine model, has conformal coating. Signal to noise ratio 105 dB is what it's rated greater than. Wow. Now, things to consider the input does require four channels. There is no switch for two channel. Non Tiffany RCA's 3.5 millimeter base cable connection can pull out, so you have to be careful with that. Relatively large footprint because it is AB. The base boost, it does not tell us what the frequency is. A lot of times people ask me to tell what sound quality, you know, an amplifier has. In my opinion, sound quality is very subjective, so I don't talk about it much unless something sounds extremely good or extremely bad. In this case, it sounded fine. Sounded fine with my speakers, with the mids and highs, with the subs. Sounded okay for the price, hard to beat. So well, there you have it. Till next time, Big D, I'm out of here. Very unexpectedly, I got this email from Nick Genre about them creating a song called Big D Wiz. And yeah, this is a pretty slamming track. It is explicit, just so you know. But uh, if you look at the link in the video description, it'll take you to all the different platforms where you can hear the song. And according to Nick, it is copyright free, so you guys can listen to it during your demos. Check it out. Testify. What test me is y'all but a check my ride. I know y'all seem to want to test my pride. That's cool because I've never been no less than I. Four G's on the system, many less a crime. Who we'll trade breaks open when I flex the vibe? A windshield crack and expensive prize. But it's worth every penny y'all sense aside. What sense aside? I need from you was to check the sign. Better check the sign. Put some checks aside. With that sun down and MBS inside. 140 DB club feel good for mine. All I need is the goal like a test my crime. As long as I'm breathing, I'ma stretch the ride. King Kong in a trunk, mean drop with a bump. D Wiz verified the air bump. That shit too hard. Got big D Wiz in the trunk. Bump that shit too hard. Got big D Wiz in the trunk. Bump that shit too hard. Got big D Wiz in the trunk. The shit they bring in this year. They be left too rough. You know how them sound waves go? Mmm. -hmm. a lot of Till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway